Well, travel will be difficult across some cities, especially into Chicago. Snow is likely during the day on Friday. We could see some impressive totals ending Friday night, 8 to 14 inches possible. And then we keep this active pattern going Saturday and into Sunday. Finally, Sunday afternoon, conditions dry out and we change the pattern and dry air works in for next week. If you're traveling to New York, here's what you can expect for tomorrow. 36 degrees with clouds, even though temperatures will be in the 50s, it looks like by the time that disturbance hits the eastern seaboard, we're talking rain showers because of 51 on Saturday and 53 for high on Sunday. So a little milder there, but definitely wet in Atlanta, mostly cloudy 62 for Friday and then kind of unsettled on your weekend. You may need an umbrella at times rain on Saturday and then we have a storm threat on Sunday and a high temperature of 67 in Miami. We will hold in the low 80s through the period and then look for that morning storm chance on Sunday to start the day, but then later it should clear out 70 with sunshine in Dallas. Clouds will be the rule on Saturday and then cloudy on Sunday. We drop that temperature, quite a spread of temperatures from 70 Friday to 40 on Sunday. So temperatures will be dropping throughout the weekend in Denver. We'll see 50 degrees and then we crash to 22 Saturday with snow likely, but we dry out for Sunday and a high of 44 for the daytime high full sun across the board for Phoenix 80 on Friday, 76 Saturday and cooling it down just a touch on Sunday to 74 and in LA will be sunny with 72 for a daytime high a little dip there on Saturday with some clouds, but Sunday everything recovers and looks nice 71 with sunny skies in Seattle. We're cloudy, but it looks like we'll be a dry start to the weekend and then on Sunday we introduce rain showers. Some of those could come Saturday night into Sunday morning, so watch for that 40s will be the story and our last stop the Twin Cities. Whoa, it's cold 11 for a high Friday 15 Saturday nice and bright on the weekend, but temperatures will definitely struggle. Hello, I'm CBS 2's Erica Sargent. Here's what's making news. Daddy daughter dances typically tug at the heart, but it is especially touching for a little girl whose father was killed in the line of duty. She didn't think she would be able to go until another soldier stepped in to help. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov has this heartwarming story. It's daddy daughter dance night at Our Lady of Humility School in Beach Park. And for five year old Kaylee Hinton and family, it's bittersweet. This was a very special day. Why is it a special day, Kaylee? Because we're celebrating my dad. Kaylee's dad, Illinois National Guard Sergeant Terrence Hinton, died in a training accident in May. So this soldier stepped in as Kaylee's special escort. It was something that touched me that it's something that has. I felt had to be done. Um, military is a family to me. Sergeant Beerbrode wasn't the only person making this kindergartner's night special. Upon arrival by limo, Kaylee was greeted by area firefighters, police officers, and Patriot Guard members. Her dad, though, on her mind. He always wants me to be happy. And this night, it appears Kaylee is. Her sadness set aside with help from a stranger turned friend, Sergeant Hinton, there in spirit for the girl he called his little pumpkin. Without a doubt, it's an honor to be able to do something like this for another soldier. I'm just overwhelmed with joy, too, so it's it's difficult. It's okay, Mama. Mm. You know, Daddy would want you to be so happy, and I, I know you're happy, right? Mm -hmm. And that makes him happy. I know it. In Beach Park, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Kaylee's dad, Sergeant Hinton, also served in Afghanistan and Kuwait. He was killed last Mother's Day. In the news, here's Olympic figure skater Brady Tennell of Carpentersville in her first practice before the Games. Now her mom and two brothers will be able to watch her compete. United Airlines heard they were having trouble paying airfare to South Korea and had a big surprise. I hate to interrupt, but I'm actually here. I'm from United Airlines. We are here to send your entire family to Korea. You guys are all going to the Olympics together. <laughs> Well, you can see the shock in the joy on their faces. Here's Brady in competition at Nationals. Her mom works two jobs and friends had started a GoFundMe page. United heard about it and flew into action. Well, for the latest headlines, day or night, head to CVSChicago.com. I'm Erica Sargent. Have a great day.